I picked up a lot of different shoes over the year, yes. but these are my samples and PEs that I purchased. Right. We always do a video separating the two because typically I pick up more than 10 pairs. Or like, let's organize them, let's figure out the top 10. These were some of the ones that stood out, stood out to me out of the pairs that I got. And I made sure I did a little bit more than 10 just so we can kind of eliminate some. Right. We might have some differences, stuff like that. So, where should we begin? Oh my God. A lot of different stuff. First off, this is major heat. <laughs> yes. Like, it's like major heat up here. And I'm not talking about values of everything, just the whole, like, everything. Like, oh my God. That shoe is really high on my list. <laughs> it's really like, oh my, my God. Yeah. Like, he came up with some super heat. You so, know. let's establish first. College PEs, Florida Gators, Oklahoma, Ducks, you name it. Those are the easiest shoes to acquire. So it's for easy. You. Or for a lot of people that want to get into it. Because those are the shoes that are they're out there. Like the players are posting them different stuff. Like there's a lot of different ways and avenues to get in PEs. And when you begin collecting samples and PEs and stuff, it's the easiest barrier to entry. So you'll see a lot of college PEs on here because they come up the but, most often. I but, get the best deals on them. They, they're hard to pass up on, stuff like that. So yeah. that's another reason why you you might see a lot more. But it's, but in my argument with that is, it's less pairs. It's less pairs, but also let's talk about that. Samples, right? There's 23 pairs of these. For the football team, you got a hundred and something guys plus the coach and staff. Now you realize, okay, they made 250 pairs plus alumni, different than that. There might be 300, 400 pairs in circulation, 250 pairs in circulation. Okay, I see. So I see. that makes it more accessible. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So even though like this one, it's not worth a lot of money, but I think they did like a thousand pairs of them. You see what I'm saying? I like that shoe. Too. So there's a lot of different, but this right here, to my knowledge, under three pairs under you see what i'm saying oh my so God. again a lot of different variables <laughs> to the different things but this is not a college pe you right. see what i'm saying right. so there's a lot of different factors uh this one was technically a retail drop but i feel like it wasn't fair to put it in the category with the grs because this would have been number one in that one yeah so you like, can't put that let's in let the that. louis vuitton air force one compete with the samples and the PEs and things right, like that, right. just on that realm. So I decided to put this one in this video compared to the other one uh, for the previous video. So if you guys haven't seen the previous video, also watch that. It just got uploaded. Uh, if you you know watch it after this one is over or whatever, maybe. So either way, pick a shoe that needs to get eliminated immediately. Immediately. I got two in my head. I'm going with this one. I really like that shoe. The organ. I was putting that in the top ten. Damn. So that if I'm gonna okay, go okay. immediately, right. I go here. What? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. That's crazy. That would be immediately. These. Here we go. Look at the sock liner. Here we Howard go. University, HBCU. Ah, here we go. First HBCU so, sponsored by Jordan Brand with their own PEs. This is crazy. And it's like a Chicago color box with a stingray, with the navy. Oh, these are crazy. Mm -hmm. Gum bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's wild. Okay. So you like the Gators more than the... No, I would take this out first. The Gators? I would take this out and leave that. So basically you're saying we can only have one. Okay, okay, all right, all right. before you do that. I'm definitely keeping those. <laughs> <laughs> I like the low top more than I like the high top. What? Yes. There's no way. Oh, this is gonna be a long night. All right. There's, really? Come on, people. Come on. I like the low top more than the high top. <laughs> I've been wearing the low tops. But I'm a high top kind of shoe guy. I get it, I get it. I'm old school, so I still wear more high tops than I wear. Okay, more. how many shoes we got? Two, okay. four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16? Something like that? 15, 16? Okay, that's cool options. All right. Oh, what am I doing? Here we go. This gotta go. Can we go with that one? Gator ones, the low tops. There's no bad shoes. All right. So what are we gonna do? We're eliminating the Gator ones. <laughs> we're eliminating, we're, we gotta get top 10. 
We got a lot of gators in here. I only need the gator okay. fours. I'm missing the gator fours. But so we get rid of those. Ones. I got all the other people. I say get rid of the ducks. The duck dunks was also first on my list to get rid of. I like okay. the shoe and all, but it's just not like enough to push me over the edge. Right. Like, These gotta be in the top three. Seven, eight, you know nine, what? Ten, you know what else? 12, 13, 14. We gotta get rid of four. You know what else was on my mind? What? For not in the top 10? No! The Oregon 13. This is the insult to history. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my God. I was like, I don't know if I wanna put these in my top 10. I almost didn't even bring them. That, that would just be ruthless right there. A couple shoes. Okay, on. okay, 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 Damn, okay. I should have brought all Keep the shoes. Keep those and I got get rid of these then. I should have brought all the shoes I got. D oh my God, we'd be here forever. <laughs> so. Okay. So, so Wait, keep, what are you those, saying? keep those and get rid of these. Get rid of the 12s? Okay. I really the, like that. The shoe. 12s was for sure going to be an X stop on my list too. So the reason why I, I was just like whatever about these, because they came out with like a GR version. It's the same shoe. It just These got the Ducks Chanel patch yeah. on the tongue. And I wasn't even a huge fan of the PE before the release and all the stuff. Like So for me, it was just like whatever. This shoe so, got to go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I was thinking about... No, come on. Those gotta be in there. Okay, okay. All These right, right here. Because you already got those. There's no way... <laughs> How about... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. And you gotta get three more pair out of here. Get rid of the... the uh... Damn. I get rid of these. The Oklahoma Sixes? I get rid of the Sixes. That's crazy. What am I do? Rock these. <laughs> Over this? I love Sixes. Okay, okay, okay. I've been wearing these already. I haven't worn these yet. You can't wear those. What you mean? You'll mess them up. What's wrong my shirt? You just mess them up. We're not doing that. Don't, don't wear those. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. All right. I like these. But I, I think, like them, but it's, I don't think they're top. 10. I don't think they're top ten. Yeah, I don't think they're top ten. Either. I was looking at them, saying the same thing. Like, I wouldn't put them that's, in my top. That's 10. the thing. I have like other Nikes and stuff that are like samples, and I was like, I don't even think they're like. It's just hard because like the Jays be going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. All right, so we get rid of Twenty One Savages. Why are you like these are crazy? All right, look. Every time I wear these, people be like, Yo, what are those? Those are dope. What? what well, like people really be going crazy when I'm driving. I understand, but you didn't wear these. I did. Not all of these. I ain't worn them all yet. They wouldn't be going as crazy. Okay. You think you can get rid of the Howard one low? I don't know. I'm just saying, like, they, they is. They, it's a nice shoe and everything. The story is nice. Yeah, I got a lot of fives this year. And I'm particular to fives too. Yeah. Like, it is what it is. So that's why I said I get rid of six, but you like sixes. Uh man, I think this is like number ten or number nine. So we're gonna put it back. You got rid of the Gator One Lows. So we're gonna so put these, it back. If we do that and we get to keep these in, that's crazy. Look at the materials on that. I know. I got the other pairs. I got the other schools, but I just got those last year. The materials on that is better than this one. Damn. Okay. How about let's pick out three shoes. We both pick out three shoes. Guaranteed not leaving. UNC four. I would have picked that. For sure not leaving. These I would have picked. Fresh Prince of Bel Air five. These I would pick. For sure not leaving. Howard sixes for sure not leaving. Louis forces for sure not leaving. <laughs> Suitors Oklahoma five. Ah, that was a queen. If we do that, then we gotta go Gator sixes because the Gator sixes right, go for sure. crazy. See, I really want this shoe in there. The Gator fives. Now we're getting it here. Okay. Now we're getting into something. I can put the Gator 5 in there because the Gator 5 is pretty icy. I think out of the college 6s, the Oklahoma 6s in particular are ones that are like, they're cool. You know what I'm saying? There's the Georgetown, the UNC, the Gators. Those three are like better. Get rid of it. <laughs> we back to what I said. Get rid because you have, you still got to go through these. How many we got to get rid of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got three more. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we gotta get rid of two. I'm not gonna look. You pick two that you get rid of. Those are two I would say. Those are two? And I would keep these. These are two I would say. Ah, no! So we're keeping this one. <laughs> so we're keeping that one. 
Oh, the great debate. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, so basically, we both get one. One must have. We both Let's get both one. Let's both pick one must have. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm like, nah, bro, I'm not getting rid of these one loves. I really like these, though. Me too, these six is going crazy. I'm cool over the 13s, that's all right. Okay. That colorway is bananas to So, me. we're getting rid of the Oklahoma sixes. Cut them off the list. And we, but ducks, we, you know we like the ducks. I know. Oh, my God. These did a lot for Oregon football, switching up with the color, because we hadn't seen this before. And they came with these neon colors on the, on the Jordan 13. Yeah. Back then, and, uh, it really changed a lot of stuff when it comes to the color designs that we see in current time. Yep. Yeah. Oh. But, gotta go. All right. So what we got? Let's get the 10 lined up on the table. Any ra random order. Yeah, no, not... no particular. And then we'll figure out, we'll figure out the, the order. This is the you see them? top 10 sneakers of my sample and PE pickups of the year. Now we need to rank them. And uh, if you guys didn't know by now, <laughs> my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Two, okay. four, six, eight, so, nine. Number. Yeah, we missed one. I'm just messing with it. it's 10. Oh, I was gonna say we get one back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would've been mine. <laughs> okay, number 10 on this side. Number one on this side. I would go number 10 right here. Number 10 as a Jordan 5. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one there. This one, top three. Top three. I would go 10 for sure. Top three for me. I don't care what anybody says. That was top three. Can this one be nine? Whew. Okay. Fives and sixes, which one is better? The fives. The Gator fives, the Gator sixes. I would say the five. I say, if anything. I like fives and he likes sixes. I just like that logo on the back. Yeah. That Gator logo on the But heel. the materials, I like this material. The materials is crazy. On this logo. got the distressed look and I'm kind of torn on always on the distressed yeah, look. Yeah, but I like the, I don't know. And this is like more pure white instead of like that vintage look. Yeah. I'll give you this one. I'll give you this one. But it's I nine. Know, I don't know if I'm gonna put it at nine yet. Well, we're gonna rearrange it again, but just let's see. I like, I like, I like. That's at nine? Yeah, cause that was off my list. Honestly, I mean, to be honest, this is at 10. How'd you move it way over there? Yeah, because the Gator ones, like way harder to wear than these PSG fives. You seen me wear these before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those go crazy. Let's go crazy. I just really like the shoe and the materials with that shoe. All right, I didn't realize how many fives I picked up. Damn, like, I had to do a Jordan Five collection video. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. I gotta, I gotta grab a couple pieces and put it back in the puzzle. You know, I got rid of some things. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. so, so, so. Okay, what we got? Fresh Prince. We got Oklahoma Five, Gator Five, PSG Five. Out of the fives alone, what's better? Is the Fresh Prince better than the Gators? Yes. I think so. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna put the Fresh Prince right there. Okay. Now the UNC 4. These are pretty fun. UNC 4. I think it's a top five shoe, but not a top three shoe. You know what I'm saying? It might go in fourth place. Yeah. Okay, now hear me out. Louis Vuitton Air Force One. For me, I opened up a $500,000 mystery box and I got these out of them. So here's what it is. It's a great looking shoe. I got a great story and memory with this. Unfortunately, these. it's not a size 14. It's my size. So I can't wear it. So we'll throw that shoe out. No. No. <laughs> I think for me, no. in the memories and everything. I will put it at number one. Number one? The cuts, the materials. I'm gonna go top three. We'll just figure out top three. We'll say top three first, because I don't know about number one. So it made it top three. We'll think about it. And that got pushed down. Oh my God. I like the fours more than I like the fives. Uh, I like the fours more than I like the fives. So go right here. Yeah. That That's reasonable, that's reasonable. And I would go there. I'm telling you, I would switch this one with that one. Okay, but I feel like we still got some work to do on this side. So we are going to 
hit you with a commercial break and we'll be right back with the final 10 shoes. This is, we why can't one? we do this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on, why can't, you still wanna kick my shoe? In the, like this? I like these more than I like these. Really? Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got a rock, paper, scissors for something. No. <laughs> you got rid of my freaking Oklahoma sixes already. <laughs> we got a rock, paper, scissors for, for what? For what? This is definitely not correct because I'm not digging this top three or top five. <laughs> so we gotta figure something. Why out. not? I would move this. I would move this over to one. I make that two. I make that four. Make four? this three. Make this three. This shoe is insane. <laughs> did you not feel the suede on these? It is. Do you see very the nice. details and the embroidery? On I don't the even front? know how they did that. The gold hits? Yeah, I don't even know how they did Howard that. Howard University? What do you mean? First HBCU sponsored by Jordan Brand? Okay, okay, okay. So what move into number one. What are you talking about right here? <laughs> That's crazy. Two. It's worthy of two. These go crazy. Those are bananas. These are worth a slap right here. <laughs> Definitely worth a slap. Front end, back end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you say you want to hit them on the commercial break? Commercial break. And we'll be back with the top 10. I hope you guys are enjoying this programming and we will be right back after this scheduled program. Today's partner is Sneaker Throne. They have multiple options when it comes to durable and high quality display cases. One of my personal favorites is the drop side display case. I'm a size 13 and I can easily fit my shoes inside of here and I have hundreds of these stacked throughout my rooms to display my sneakers. When it comes to the cases in particular, you have four different color options, clear, black, white, and red. So if you're looking at grabbing one of these for yourself or for someone else, make sure you guys check out sneakerthrone.com and don't forget to use the discount code DNA show at checkout for 10% off for all your orders. Welcome back to the show. I hope you guys are enjoying this and if you haven't already make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Now we have our top 10 locked in. This was not easy. This was not easy. I still made the cut. <laughs> so we got the Gator Air Jordan 1. I have the Oklahoma. I have the UNC. I have the I I like these more than the Oklahoma. Well, actually, I don't know. I like the Oklahoma's because it's just red, black, and white. It's right. like, it's just right. a clean shoe. UNC is fire though. Um, great shoe. I just think there's some shoes that's, that didn't make the cut that I would put over these. Right. But you let me have one of mine. So I'll let you have one. We let it sneak in at number 10. It's sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we got for number nine? Number nine. Ah. The PSG Air Jordan 5 Friends and Family. <laughs> All white leather, premium leather. Premium. Uh, you got the Paris logo on the bottom. Great details on the back of the shoe as well. Paris on the yeah. inside, similar to the SB, to the Supreme Fives um, as well. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a great shoe. I haven't even had a chance to review these yet. I wore them to. I was gonna say um, you wore them. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to review them yet. <laughs> I just been wearing them. But I like the shoe a lot. But again, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it on my top 10. But I'm glad I made it but on it the made list. made the cut. I think it's a great shoe. Black and white goes with a lot of different things. Yeah. Dope Jordan 5. Great pickup for the year. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment you know, section. I, I mess with five, so. Like, these are fire. You like fives more than sixes? Yeah, I like And five. I like sixes. I like sixes more than fives. And this one made the cut. Ah. <laughs> Again, another shoe that I really love rocking. The Howard University Air Jordan 1 Low. It looks like a Chicago kind of, but you got that navy hit to it. Look at the sock liner. It's clean, it's nice. It's a great it's nice shoe. shoe. Got the gum bottom on there. The materials are fire, great colorway, great shoe. I've been wearing this shoe as well. I had to lace them up and try to clean them up just for the video, because right. I was like, I gotta chill, Loki. I need to grab a second <laughs> pair of these, but they're like three bands, so you gotta chill for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You gotta chill. But I like rocking them. You gotta these. not wear them. Nah, I'll be rocking them, man, I'll be rocking them. So another good shoe. Um, this three is bands, number... they don't got a motor. <laughs> this is number eight on the list right here. <laughs> Look at this. Damn! Oklahoma Whoa. Air Jordan 5 coming in at number seven on the list. 
Uh, I've done a review. I'll link all these down below in the description as well. If you guys want to see any reviews to the videos that I have shot already uh, for the certain shoes. And if not, then I will add them later or whatever. But great shoe. Uh, you like fives? I like it a lot. What, what, do you, what do you think about this shoe? I like this shoe with the icy white. The materials is crazy for me. You know, it's just, it's thick. Everything is nice. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that on the bottom. One dope feature about the PE fives as well is like, if you look at the outsole, you can actually see there's a jump man in the middle of it still. Cause originally on the Jordan five, uh, there's a jump man right there. There's a jump man in here. Yeah. You can see it. You see how it's lined within the rubber. It's no. clear. You see that out? You see the lining of the jump man in the rubber? Oh yeah. 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 yeah I see it. Right. Yeah. Right there. Like yeah. that, like that, like yep. that. So oh, it's that's like a, dope. I've never seen dope it. dope how they add that little touch to the shoe when yeah. they do these PEs and then the Nike Air and the little branding on the lace lock and everything. I miss those lace locks like that. Yeah. This is a great shoe. Yeah. Definitely a great shoe. Had to be in my top 10. Um, I'm excited to work on complete. Actually, I think I have. I'll take that back. I have all the Oklahoma finds. I was about to say, I was working on completing the set, but I already did. <laughs> you don't even know. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's right. The new low top. There's like a black low uh, top. I'm like, you don't do I'm like, no, no, that's right. There was one I'm missing. I'm missing. I need to get those. I need to get those. Here we go. I'm not in a big rush on those. They're cool, but. Same thing that came with the icy white. Okay, materials. so we had a debate. Oklahoma 5 or the uh, Gator 5s. And I feel like the Gators are just better. Yeah. The color. The, the brightness. Blue, everything is like. It just pops. Yeah. With the orange. Yeah. It's really hitting with yeah. the shoe. The suede on the tongue is crazy. The branding, I think I, I, the logo like on the outsole. Did they do the jump man in there one too? Yeah, they do it on all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got your Nike branding on yeah. there. I think it's an amazing shoe. I'm, I'm looking forward to rocking these. I don't know what occasion it's gonna be, but definitely gonna be rocking these. Right. So another great shoe. That's the fifth or sixth shoe. What is that? Number six? That's six right there. That's all the shoes you got on that side, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Number five, we had a great debate. This is y'all don't know how hard this is. This is tough. This is so hard. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Air Jordan Five, friends and family. Uh, this was for like his Oscars or something. Fiftieth birthday. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was for his. What was his fiftieth birthday? I think it was his fiftieth birthday. Something like that. Fortieth yeah. birthday. No, that no. was fiftieth. Fiftieth. Cause he's like 50 something, yeah. a few years older. Yeah, so yeah, either way, I got these. I love them. Uh, super dope shoe. Hard to get shoe. Yeah, and something different, something cool to have in the collection. And definitely, you know, find my size and be able to rock these. Looking forward to it. I'm saying this is a statement maker. When you come out in these, this yeah. is like, I'm making a statement. Yeah, no, this is a great shoe for sure. I think uh, a lot of, there's a lot of hate on this shoe though. A Why, because they didn't get them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just see like a lot of people like, oh, those are trash. Like, it just doesn't go together with the grape colors. Da, da, da. Wow. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I like them. I don't, again, not not top three, but I always thought the shoe was dope. And it's not like, you know, $20,000 shoe or nothing. Like, you right. can go get these for a few racks. You can find them, uh, especially if you know, find a pair that's like, because these was worn once. And I was like, oh, perfect. Like, I didn't save some money getting a used pair and they look brand new. So like yeah. you wouldn't even know. Like, yeah. yeah, it's got like the smallest of crease right here, but like, you can't even tell. People think they're brand new still. Like, yeah. it looks great. So, well, it's used now. <laughs> <laughs> For me, <laughs> they look good. But yeah, uh, great shoe. Uh, we spent a lot of time on this one, talking about this one. So, okay. Next up on the list. Oh, this shoe is so fire. And <sighs> what you think? Air Jordan 6, Florida Gators. I told you, the only thing I was like, I said, I'm really not fond of the distress kind of look. Okay. But the shoe itself is bananas. It's crazy. Like, it's dope. Like, I like it. You know, the stitching, everything. Like, the, this on the back, you know, the, the whites, you know, a little creamy there. Like, it's dope. I think they did. Y'all know I love sixes. I want the entire pack. I need every single shoe from the entire pack. <laughs> Size 13. Size 13, 12 and a half, 13 and a half. 
Let's make it work. So, for me, you know, I'm almost done completing the pack, but this one in particular was like in my top three for the college pack. Mm -hmm. I just really like these. I don't know what it is, but these are fire. They are clean though. This is a great shoe. So, I was excited to add these uh, to the collection. Now, next up, number three. Oh my God. This is actually a pretty, I would say recent This pickup. shoe right here though. How many months ago clean. did I get these? Like three months ago? Yeah, probably three or four. Or something, something like that. Three. October, September, something like that, August. I don't know. It was at the later part of the year. Yeah. So y'all know how I feel about the college pack when it comes to the Jordan 4s. It's the icy outsole that- Icy. It's great, but then it's gonna yellow. And this? that was, yeah. Over time it's gonna yellow and it's gonna look bad. And Jordan 4, they crumbled him. There's a lot of different factors to different things, right? right? So you say, okay, how much do I really like this shoe? How much do I want to put into this sneaker? Because right. eventually it's not worth it to keep it for long, right? So you want to get your wares out, you want to get your money's worth, you want to do all those things. And you got to protect this shoe. It's different when it's just like a regular rubber outsole. So when it with comes the to lighting, the college with board, the lighting pack, and the, and everything, the heat everything. and the, all the other stuff. And you got, like, you know, I've completed the entire pack multiple right. times. Right. But, you know, it wasn't always in my size. Got rid of it, whatever, cool. But now I'm like, you know, I do want to grab a couple in my size for myself to keep. So, I don't know, I'm not sure if I want the whole set or not. But I think this one out in particular is one that I wanted. One of the higher ones up there yeah. that I like. I don't know, I'm just, that mug is clean. <laughs> this is a statement. Like when you put these on and you go somewhere, this is the one that's gonna make a statement. Yeah. Like they've been like, damn, what are you wearing? Right. Yeah, that's just a statement shoe right there. Definitely. But like, that's like when I wear my Oklahoma Fours, mm -hmm. right? Those are the ones I'm currently like, that are in my rotation. Yeah. I clean them up, I put them back, da, da. like, and eventually it'll be this shoe. And then man, it'll be the next one, who knows? But I don't know, I think this one pops, it goes crazy. I'm looking forward to that day when I'm really rock, like rocking those. Right. See me over doing some interviews on a TikTok or something, like, like ah. damn, you got this thing on like crazy. <laughs> I think it's a good shoe. So. Yeah. Uh, top three? This is number three? Number three. Okay. You got two left. Okay, we got two left. Number two! Da -da -da. Drum roll, please! <laughs> Louis Vuitton Air Force One. Now, you said you think this should be number one. I did. But, again, after you give me the history on the other shoe, it, it just changes things. But the material on this is nice. It's like, a, you know, it's a clean, like, it's just clean. This is a clean shoe. This is the colors. They didn't mess it up so hard to find my size. People I'm trying to tell you when it comes to the Louis forces, there's not that many that are made in my size. <laughs> so to have the opportunity to get the shoe, the video that we shot, opening up a $500,000 mystery box and then copying one of the shoes from the boxes. And I, this is a shoe that I decided to get in and having that, like the story behind it, like, I can't wait till I find the opportunity to go and rock this shoe. Right. And then you're in a situation where it's like, it's an all blue bottom. Yeah. You rock the shoe, you clean it up, and just, you it's gonna look it great. Like, up, yeah. yeah, like I'm looking forward to it. The materials are crazy on the shoe. Uh, I just, I like these a lot. And I'm like, I had to yeah. put these in my top three. Yeah. For sure. This is a clean shoe, man. The colorway, I just look at it, when you look at it from the side, like, that's clean. <laughs> like it's just a clean look it's not overdone yeah you know everybody know i'm like really simple on the colors mm -hmm. and they did a great job of keeping it simple just pop here pop there pop there you know yeah this this they did a really good job on this one. the tongue is fat that that, uh, that embroidery on the tongue i've done a full review on those two uh, now last but not least i said this when i got these and I was like, this is, I, at the time when I got these, it was my favorite PE pickup of the year. Right. And I got more shoes after that. And the Howard University Air Jordan 6s, I love 6s. And this was a switch up. Like you had the distressed materials on every other 6 from the pack. Right. And this one. And I'm glad they didn't do that on they this. They switched it up. They gave them a whole new thing. And the color blocking is fire. Yeah. The gold hits. The other one has like a gold keychain on it, like a little dog tag. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? The patch on the back, the embroidery on the that toe. That's clean. And again, 
Very simple. Easy to rock. Easy you know, to clean. Easy, besides yeah. the upper. Besides the upper is going to be a nightmare, but the outsole is like easy to clean up. Yeah. But this shoe is just, I don't know. Like I'm sure a lot of people would have put see. more shoes on their, you know, top three or top one out of the ones that I picked up. Yeah. But for me, it's the, I don't know. You said the Air Force One, the Louis Air Force One. So these were my top three this order there we go right these are my top three pickups when it comes to samples and pe's and stuff like that um i don't know i think i think and i would have just did this that's all i would have did that would have been my difference so that's pretty cool i mean we was close everything else we close on i would have swapped these just because when i look at that the way that popped like that it's bananas this right here crazy. though this shoe is really good looking it's a great looking shoe like the, the materials is nice, everything. And like you said, they didn't do the distressed look. And that's one of the things I was complaining about on the other ones. It's crazy because the Louis Force was a shoe that came out to the public. Yeah. And it fell the regular in the top public in top couldn't three. afford the shoe. Yeah. So they got a lot of fake pairs out there. Oh man some horrible fakes oh man that's all another topic <laughs> so that is my top 10 uh we ran through it you guys liked it we had the florida gator ones at number 10 the psg fives at number nine the howard air jordan one low at number eight we had the oklahoma five at number seven the gator five at number six we had the fresh prince of bel air five at number five we had the Gator Air Jordan 6s at number four, the UNC Air Jordan 4 at number three, Louis Vuitton at number two, and the Howard Air Jordan 6 at number one. In any order you put them in, you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun making this video. We do the recaps at the end of the year. Last year when we did this, me and him like figured it all out. And then I just shot the video. Something like that. Was you in the video? I can't remember. I feel like we just was like figuring it out and then I just made the video yeah. or something like that. So um, if you guys want to see him in any more of these ranking videos, come let on, me know. Y'all look for your boy. <laughs> Call me out. There's some other ranking videos we should make soon though. For real. That five video though? Which one? To do the fives, like do all your fives. My all my Air Jordan fives? Do all the fives and then we rank those. Damn. And it don't matter which if they college, it don't matter. Okay. Just put all the fives. Whole entire come on y'all all the fives. Is, I do the fives. I do the fives. <laughs> I like the sixes, man. I never done the whole Jordan Five collection before. It's gonna be like thirty two. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys follow all the different things. See you guys on the different platforms. We're gonna be with what's today. You guys might be seeing this while we're in Fort Lauderdale, maybe or maybe not. If not, we'll be at more sneaker cons coming soon. And uh, subscribe to his channel. Got his stuff linked down below as well. Links to all these reviews, to all these different shoes will be in the description as well. You got anything else? No, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only hey, choice hey, I like to make what I'm aware today. One of those. I would one never one let you down. It's in my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in